All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So here we are with a follow-up video about a week or so, or a little over a week with this monitor. And it is, in fact, a keeper. This is on the pricier side when it comes to uh, a monitor. It is 700 bucks for a monitor, but it is a very nice monitor. It is a smart monitor. This is Samsung's latest and greatest monitor. I'll leave a link down below so you can grab this. A lot of you guys have been on the fence about it. Some of you guys said I went on ahead and bought it. <clears throat> and um, right now, after using it for over a week, uh, it's probably been two weeks. I'm not sure that I've, since I've had this. But nonetheless, folks, it is actually a phenomenal monitor because it is a smart monitor. I've already pointed out in my initial impressions about the camera being a little weak and the speakers being a little weak and certain things. Uh, but ultimately... This is a keeper. It is not a catch and release. It is very nice. There's a lot to like about this for my setup. So as you can see here, right down there, you can see I have my Mac Studio. I would suggest this monitor for people who have the Mac Studio or like some kind of Apple computer. Apple's monitor is cool and everything, but it is super limited. This computer monitor can raise up and down. It can tilt left. It, it has everything on the stand. It is a metal stand, too, that I didn't have to purchase. It comes with it. So this is a complete monitor setup. I didn't even have to pay for the matte nano coating that's on, or whatever this nano coating is on this monitor. It comes that way, all for $699 in comparison to Apple's monitors that you have to pay for the things to get it to do the things that you that should just come as is. That is what deterred me from buying Apple's monitor because I really did have it in my card. And I was like, I'm going to get this monitor and keep it all Apple. Yikes. Nope. Uh, it just came down to value to consumer. You hear me talk about that a lot on this channel. Value to consumer is very important. And so I wouldn't buy something for myself that and tell you to buy it. Uh, I would, you know, would search around, you know, hey, or I wouldn't get something really expensive and then tell you, oh, it's worth it. It's worth it because you could be like, hey, that's not worth it. But this is my setup right here. This is the C model, which is that's the only way you can tell it's the latest one because they actually obviously they look alike. But this one has a few more features and functions, I guess. They're supposed to be just better. And there's also two mo models of this now. There's a 27-inch version of this as well. But you get everything with the 32-inch. And I just highly recommend you go straight to this model right here. So this, in fact, has a lot of positives for a lot of people out there. So let's just say, now I know I have a big office. But let's just say I didn't have a big office and I wanted to combine some things. Well, that is where this comes in. This is a smart TV as well. As you can see here, boom, all of my stuff is on here. My All of my paid services, just anything that I possibly could want on a, a TV or streaming service or anything like that is on here. Now, this does not have a TV toner. That's the thing that it's missing because it is a monitor. But if you have streaming services based on today's standards, this is something that you could definitely use to your advantage because it has all of you can put all the apps on there that you have normally on your TV. So if you have a small office, this is one that I highly recommend. Now I know you can get apps and things like that on your Mac or your PC, or whatever you're using, but you don't need to do that. You can have your computer go off or whatever, and you can still watch TV. You can still hook up Bluetooth speakers and everything to the monitor if you want to. Now I have the Marshall Bluetooth speaker sitting right over here. The big boy that I've gotten, you saw the latest video on that. I have that speaker hooked to the Mac. I can actually hook it to the the compute, the monitor as well. But uh, yeah, I, I chose not to do that. I just watch because these speakers are tinny, but they're loud in a quiet area. They're not going to blow your mind or anything like that, but they are definitely good. So, and I found myself using the YouTube app on here just a little bit more. Um, you can see it's right here. I've, my recent is the YouTube app. So. Um, I found myself using this a little bit more for some reason. I don't know why. It's just it's just nice. It's good to go ahead and just, you know, use the YouTube app. I like it. So all the other apps and everything. Now it does have and I doesn't have a TV tuner, folks, but it does have Samsung TV Plus. And Samsung TV Plus, look, don't you love the matte screen? Don't you love that matte screen right there? Beautiful, right? Samsung TV Plus is TV. It's just streaming TV. So you have all these channels that you can watch. Oh, shout out uh, RIP Bob Ross. Man, I grew up watching this cat. Love, love, love watching him, man. Straight up. Bob Ross was a man. But nonetheless, you have TV. You can watch TV. Straight up. Samsung TV Plus is TV. And so that's a huge plus. 
you've got, oh, no pun intended, but you do technically have TV on here. It's streaming TV. It's not a TV tuner, but you do have streaming TV. Even if you don't have any of those other apps to pay services or whatever, everybody has YouTube because it's free. Uh, but even if you don't have any other apps you want to put on here, you definitely get Samsung TV Plus as a part of the TV. It's free streaming services. And you can download other ones like Pluto TV. There's a bunch of them. But you don't have to pay for streaming services in order to use this particular monitor. But this is why it is important for me to pull out the strings and tell you, if you have a small office, this is going to be gold to you. This is going to be freaking golden. Now, as you saw, but when I'm switching between the apps there, this monitor is actually is a frosted matte feel to it. Let me give you a little bit more light. Let me see. I'm going see, I'm to see, turn the light on over here to the side. A little bit more light. Um, but this monitor is a matte surface on it, and it is absolutely phenomenal. You are going to love the anti-glare on this monitor. I'm telling you, folks, I tell you no lies. This is one of the best anti-glare monitors that I've gotten, and it should be for the $699 price tag. It should be. So checking some box here, boxes here, as a person who creates and as a regular person, this is a TV, a 32-inch TV with, I got to admit, beautiful quality. It is 4K. It is beautiful. All the streaming services can play in 4K. It just, it just pops. It looks really good. Now, mind you, I'm actually recording this with not my professional camera, if you will, my big boy. Here's one of them, my Sony with the Sigma lens. I'm not using that. I'm actually just using the S23 Ultra. I just decided to press record. No special mics, no nothing, no... It's just recording on the S23 Ultra. I like how it grabs this monitor. The colors are extremely accurate. All this blue over here, you see, that's exactly how it looks in person. No extra vivid. You remember how Samsung's products used to record it extra punchy? No, no, this is the accurate representation. Like, look here for the greens on the leaves. And th this, this is exactly how beautiful this monitor is in person. Now, as far as hardware on the monitor goes, I like the thin borderless bezel it has pretty much around it almost. It is a full, nice full display when you're watching something. So I'm going to pull up a video here real quick. I love how it goes in between uh, the uh, screens. You can see the matte uh screen there so just playing 4k it was just some video i recorded when i was on the lot looking at different vehicles and stuff like that see how full the display is yeah it just fills up the entire display let me kill this light for a second here it just fills up the entire isn't that a beautiful corvette like mm, mm, mm. corvettes oh man i should buy one huh i should i should buy one yeah anyway um this monitor is so good when using it as something for video. It is phenomenal, man. I mean, the, the the borderless frame around here on this hardware is absolutely beautiful. I think you'd be hard pressed to say this monitor was not good in person if you see it. And, and it really produces the colors and everything the way it should. It is very nice. And I'm really impressed with the quality on here. So, um, if you uh, decide, hey, I want to use this for watching TV or whatever I'm going to use it for, you'll really love the way the colors look. You'll love the way the screen is anti-glare. It's a thin monitor, like really thin. It's about a little bit thicker than, than this remote right here. It is really thin. It is a, a thin monitor, but you're not going to care so much about that. It's going to be, see, the base of this monitor is about the size of a, the, like the squareness of a Mac studio. So it's planted very well, very strong hardware on here. No questions about that. Performance on here, it is a speedy, speedy monitor when you're going into like different things, uh, going in between applications and going in between the actual uh, things in the monitor itself. It's actually really solid. I mean, I, I don't have an issue with anything this monitor has ever done so far no sluggishness no nothing it is really nice browse content faster using your voice and this does have voice you can see there's the mic in the center of the remote there and you can um press the button there let me try it um i want to say that i'm going to press the button and i'm going to say show me something for kids so here we go let me see how if i can do this 
Oh, I gotta do. I, I gotta set up Bixby. So we're gonna go ahead and go real time here. Uh, let me see here. Wake up anytime. Wake up when the screen is on. I'll do that later. Uh, later. All right, here we go. Show me something for kids. See how well it does. It's searching. You can see the little thing. I've never used this before. Uh, and here it is. It's searching for things for children. There we go. That is real world. And you can see Bixby was pretty much initialized already. I just need to go through that quick little setup. But this is great. Now, let me see. Let's see what it says for adults. Show me something for adults. Let's see what it considers for adults. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Let me try something different here. Open YouTube. See if we can open an app. Oh, and here we go. <laughs> it actually went back to YouTube and opened up where I was playing for the last video. Really nice. So again, folks, this monitor, there's. I was just speaking directly into that little mic right there. If I can get you to focus. There we go. I was right into that little mic. I was holding the mic button right there. And I was talking right into the microphone. So that is really nice. You saw how accurate it was, picking up what, what I was saying. There's just a bunch going on here. This monitor, folks, is well worth the money. And then also, you can actually hook up a mouse and keyboard. You can see this mouse. I have my my one of my mouse. This is the one I use for Mac. This is the so-called Mac version. And this is the PC version. But I'm going to go and get the S2. Um, but you can control everything uh from the mouse too this is really nice man uh i mean this is just just well worth i mean i really like how it is controlling this this way so if you're in the market for a a monitor that can do more than just be a monitor this is one for you folks this is a tv a streaming box, whatever, all tucked away into this little thin frame. And again, this monitor, and the reason I would recommend this to people who have Macs is because Apple's monitor is a straight up ripoff. It's a ripoff. You have to pay for the nano coating. You have to pay for the stand, different stands to do different things. This one literally can raise all the way up and tilt all the way this the, the, vertically. It, it, is, it is so nice. Um, but I have a Mac, and so I'm not going to use it in that orientation. But if I wanted to, I very well could. That's the great part about it. I can position this any way I want. I can also put two things. I can put a PC on here too uh, and use it that way as well. So it, that's where the workspace comes in. That's where the workspace comes in. It lets you know what you're using right there. Yeah, now, again, I've already pointed out before, Dex was the only thing I got. And obviously you can do Google Meets and all that stuff. Uh, and also it has the gaming hub as well. Remember, you've got all of that. Some of you guys asked me to test the gaming hub. I'll try it, man. I'll hook up a controller or whatever, but I just, I don't game like that. So, um, I maybe I'll, I'll, I'll give it a whirl sometimes, I guess I'll, I'll try something. I'm just not a gamer uh, anymore. So, but this monitor folks has so much to offer that it's, it's almost mind blowing that, um, more people are not using it. Uh, and I know this is the latest one or whatever, uh, but it is one that, I think, and also the, the computer mouse works above all the other mouses too. You can see that's that's the TV mouse, and then this is the, the Max mouse. So the, the TV mouse will eventually disappear once it's not being touched. But overall, folks, this is first to me a monitor. See how quickly it went away after like three to five seconds? This is first a monitor to me because this is how I, I prefer to use it in the office. I got it for that reason. But there's so many things I like about this. I had to give you another follow-up after almost two weeks or whatever, this thing is great, man. And it, and I mean, I, I asked you guys about HDMI and Type-C or whatever. There's a Type-C port on the back where you can plug your Mac up or any computer that can project out through Type-C. You can use that. But I'm using it with HDMI because I'm like, well, it's, it's stationary. I can free up that port for something else. And so I used it for the camera up there. Uh, the Anchor camera is one of the best cameras. It's a great, it's a great camera. It's not the best. Uh, but I, cause I do have a 4k camera that I could use as well, but these new anchor cameras are actually really small and compact. They don't require any drivers or anything like that. It's just straight plug and play into Mac or PC and it works great. I did find that it works a little bit better on PC for some reason, but it is what it is. 
But the monitor itself is hardware is number one. It's phenomenal. The price is fair considering you're basically buying a TV and a 4K monitor. That's actually a good, because you know, you can hook a TV up as a monitor, but the resolution will be weird sometimes. And it's just not made to do that. But you've got a monitor, a TV, streaming services, everything all in one. It, it's just great, man. It is, it is just a beautiful setup. Some of the most beautiful hardware you can find on, on monitors today. And it is a big one. I mean, there's, again, there's a 27 inch version of this. I highly recommend you go with the 32 because you get everything, all the features with the 32. Don't ask me what features do you get? Go on the link, compare the 27 to the 32, and you'll see exactly what I mean. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is so good. I mean, it's sometimes I don't even watch TV on the, because you can do split screen and have the TV over here and the computer side over here. I don't do that. I'll just do either or. But editing on this thing is great. I can open up um, iMovie down here. I was using Final Cut Pro, but I was like, nah. I wasted 300 bucks, but nonetheless, um, yeah, you can, uh, you can, you can do, it is just so much better to edit on this jumbo display right here. So beautiful monitor. I highly recommend it at this point. Remember, I'll leave a link to it down below. Some of your questions answered. I, I'll, I'll put your, post your questions down below. You know what I'm saying? So you can tell me what you want me to try to get at for you. But this is a, this is kind of a complete setup, especially for people who have a small office. This is a TV and everything all in one for you. And if you have a, a computer like mine, like if you have a Mac Studio or a Mac Mini or just a PC, this a mini kind, or just a PC period that go under your desk. Now this is a standing desk and I definitely stand it up sometimes. I've been sitting for a long time now, so I need to get up and move around, but it, it works perfect. Nothing, nothing is good. As long as your cable management is right, getting a, get a rising desk because it's totally worth it. You need to move around uh, when you're doing stuff in your office anyway. So, you know, you shouldn't sit too long. But nonetheless, it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yes, this thing is absolutely great. I love this monitor. It is not a catch and release. I was skeptical at first because it did cost itself 700 bucks, but it's worth it. And I could remove my TV from my office if I wanted to, but I have a big enough office to where I have a lounge chair and I could put a whole nother desk on the other side of the room. And I'm actually considering doing that, believe it or not, because I have a computer. I have other computers that I still want to get up, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm thinking about grabbing me a small computer desk and then putting it on the other side of my office. I'm still debating on that, but we shall see. I'll probably do it. I'm saying that because I'm probably going to do it. Anyway, it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. This new Samsung monitor is fire, folks. Grab it if you need a monitor all-in-one. Take care.